So hello, and welcome back to Simplify Tech. I hope you are having a great day so far. In this video, we will tell you about the top 5 best OLED TVs of 2023 that will give you great value and performance. All the TVs that we talk about in this video will be linked down below in the description. If you want to buy any of these, then don't forget to check them out. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright, so our first TV is going to be the Sony A95K. This is the best OLED TV overall. The frame of the Sony A95K is similar to that of other Sony TVs, but it has a unique stand that lets it sit flat against the table and hides the stand behind the display. It also comes with a detachable camera that sits on top of the TV. It uses a blue OLED panel with quantum dot filters that's supposed to combine the perfect black levels of OLEDs with the wide range of colors and bright highlights of QLED TVs. As it's a high-end TV, it's packed with features like HDMI 2.1 bandwidth and variable refresh rate support for gamers. Its Google TV interface is user-friendly, and it comes with the Bravia webcam, which adds a few new features like gesture support if you don't want to use the remote to navigate the menu. The Sony A95K has a unique stand that puts the TV completely in front and hides the stand, which is called the front position. This makes the display sit flush against the table. The back of the TV features textured plastic with a checkerboard pattern that's typical of Sony TVs. The inputs can be difficult to reach if you wall mount it, especially if you use the input covers. The top and side bezels are thinner than the bottom bezel, which is about one inch thick. The Sony A95K has fantastic build quality. The entire unit is well put together, it's solid, and there aren't any noticeable issues. The base of the stand is metal covered in plastic, and the borders of the display are also metal, while everything else is premium plastic. The downside is that the plastic in the back panel flexes easily, but this isn't a problem unless you're pressing against it. Specifications, sizes, 55, 65 inches, resolution, 4K, refresh rate, 120 hertz, pros, wide viewing angle, perfect black levels, bright highlights and vivid colors, HDMI 2.1 bandwidth and VRR support, cons, SDR brightness is just decent. Moving on, our second TV on the list is the Samsung S95B. This is the best upper mid-range OLED TV. The Samsung S95B has incredibly thin bezels, helping it to blend into your environment when it's not in use. Like all OLED TVs, the panel portion of the TV is incredibly thin. This TV uses a new QD OLED panel. This new TV technology uses blue OLED panels with quantum dot color filters and is advertised to deliver much brighter colors than traditional white OLED displays. Like other Samsung TVs, it uses Samsung's proprietary Tizen OS smart interface, which offers a large selection of apps and games. There's a large focus on gaming features, and it supports HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on all four ports and is FreeSync Premium certified. The center-mounted stand is relatively small. Due to the large size of the TV relative to the stand, it wobbles a bit, but it settles quickly. The stand lifts the display about 3 inches above the table, so most soundbars fit in front of it without blocking the screen. The back of the TV is made up of two sections. The central panel that houses the electronics is made of smooth plastic. There are covers included to hide the inputs and help with cable management. The inputs aren't really easy to access if you wall mount it with a fixed mount, especially once the covers are in place. The Samsung QD OLED has excellent build quality. The materials used feel premium, and there's very little flex in any of the panels. The stand supports the TV well, but there's a bit of wobble due to its large size. There's a slight bend to the main panel of the display, and just moving it around makes it flex a bit, but this is common with OLED displays. Specifications, sizes, 55, 65 inches, resolution, 4K, refresh rate, 120 hertz. Hertz, pros, incredibly bright colors, excellent reflection handling, exceptionally wide viewing angle, HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on all four ports, cons, fast response time results in a noticeable stutter. The third TV on our list is the LG C2. This is the best mid-range OLED TV. The LG C2 has a very sleek, modern design. The thin bezels are nearly invisible from a normal viewing distance, and the silver border looks great. Like other LG TVs, it uses the Weibo Smart Interface, which has been slightly refreshed, adding user profiles among other minor changes. Its self-emitting technology is superb for watching movies or HDR content in a dark room. It's also brighter than most OLED panels, making it an excellent choice for watching TV shows or sports in a bright room. The TV has a 120Hz panel with HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on four inputs, meaning you can take full advantage of the gaming features, including support for GeForce Now and Stadia game streaming, and it's available in a wider range of sizes than previous models, including the first ever 42 inches OLED panel. The C lineup tends to be the most popular TV in LG's OLED lineup, sitting below the gallery style LG G2 OLED and above the harder to find LG B2 OLED. The back of the TV has an updated design compared with last year's LG C1 OLED. The back of the display panel is made of textured, brushed metal, and even if nobody sees it, it looks and feels nice. 
The inputs are covered with a plastic panel, but it's fine. The LG C2 is incredibly well built, the materials feel premium, and there's not much flex in the back panel. The smaller stand takes up less space and is considerably lighter, but it doesn't support the TV as well, so it wobbles easily. The stand lifts the bottom of the screen about 2 inches above the table, which isn't quite enough to fit most soundbars, so you'll block part of the screen if you have a large soundbar on the same table. Specifications Sizes 42, 48, 55, 65, 77, 83 inches Resolution 4K Refresh Rate 120 Hz, pros, great peak brightness, impressive gaming features, fantastic reflection handling, near infinite contrast ratio for perfect blacks, cons, doesn't support DTS pass-through, colors aren't as bright as pure white. Next up on our list is the Vizio H1. This is the best budget OLED TV. The Vizio H1 OLED has an incredible design. The mainframe is made out of smooth, matte metal, while there's plastic on the back. There's cable management through the stand and panels in the back, and they hide all cables. The stand looks good and raises the TV more than most other stands, so it's good for taller soundbars, but you may need more vertical space. The Vizio OLED delivers excellent overall performance. Like any OLED TV, its ability to turn off individual pixels results in an infinite contrast ratio and perfect black uniformity. It displays an excellent color gamut for HDR content, but it doesn't get very bright in HDR and large areas get significantly dimmer. Most gamers should appreciate the 120Hz refresh rate, near instant response time, and low input lag. It has variable refresh rate support, but it has some limitations. The TV has a unique center-mounted stand that's designed to hold the Vizio Elevate soundbar, and even though you can put any soundbar on it, it may not fit perfectly. The top half of the back is smooth metal, while the bottom half, where the inputs are, is textured plastic. You can remove the plastic panels for cable management, and it hides all the loose wires, but the panels are a bit difficult to take off. The borders are thin and aren't distracting. The TV is thin and won't stick out much if you all mount it. The Vizio OLED has outstanding build quality. It's well put together, and the metal and plastic parts both feel solid. The stand supports the TV well, and there isn't much wobble. With a stunning bezel-less frame, a profile as thin as 4mm, and an intuitive cable management system, Vizio OLED is the ultimate in next-generation elegance. But unfortunately, there's temporary image retention and the risk of permanent burn-in, so it's not ideal for use as a PC monitor. Specifications Sizes 55, 65 inches Resolution 4K Refresh rate 120 Hz Pros Very wide viewing angles Infinite contrast ratio Low input lag Near infinite contrast ratio for perfect blacks Cons Lower frame rate content stutters Risk of permanent burn-in Now moving on to the next TV in our list That is the LG B2 This is also the best budget OLED TV The LG B2 has an elegant style that looks like other LG OLEDs It has a center-mounted stand with a thin panel and a mainly gray body The LG B2 is a fantastic overall TV It's remarkable for watching movies in dark rooms Thanks to its near infinite contrast ratio with perfect blacks And it's also excellent for watching HDR are movies, but some colors don't look vivid. It has the built-in Weibo smart platform that makes it easy to stream your favorite content. And for gamers, it has HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on two ports and supports FreeSync, HDMI Forum VRR, and G-Sync variable refresh rate formats. The center-mounted stand has a small footprint and keeps the TV stable, but it doesn't prevent all wobbling. Sadly, it only raises the bottom of the screen about two inches off the table, so placing a soundbar in front blocks the screen. The LG B2 has a metal back panel, and the part housing the inputs is plastic with a brushed aluminium look. Some of the inputs are side-facing and easy to access with the TV wall mounted, but the back-facing ones are harder to reach, and you can't make the TV sit flush against the wall if you have cables plugged into the back. Speaking of which, there's a clip for cable management to help keep your setup clean. The LG B2 has excellent build quality. It's well put together, and there aren't any obvious quality control issues. It has a solid metal back panel, but the plastic portion where the inputs are feels cheap and flexes easily. Despite the stand's small size, it still supports the TV well, and there's only a bit of wobble from front to back. Specifications Sizes 55, 65, 77 inches Resolution 4K Refresh rate 120 Hz Pros Perfect black uniformity, wide viewing angle, no issues upscaling content, deep and in Kai blacks, cons, some colors aren't vivid, some scenes don't get bright enough to fight glare, so you can go for any of the TVs that fit in your budget. They are all great options for the price, and that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel.